Dear Christian brothers and sisters. I saw an article that I would like to share with you. Because all of us in one form or other we were implicated, better said, tried on us and applied on us. From the early stage of our lives. It is still ongoing, process today and the trend, will be in the future. So let's see what the article is telling us, stop lying to your children about Santa, Psychologists argue psychologists are urging parents to tell the truth about Santa Claus or risk damaging their relationship with their children. In an article published in the journal Lancet Psychiatry, two psychologists criticize parents who use Santa Claus as a tool to control their children's behavior, they argue that the enduring myth risks leaving a child open to abject disappointment and undermining trust in parents when they discover the truth. Well shucks because for every kid the parents are representing safety and stability, a solid ground for them in this generally uncertain life, parents are the kids' first role models, role models that they will emulate in the various situations in their life, in the growing up process, adulthood, and parenthood towards their kids, it is a generational and societal issue, that ultimately may have an impact generally over the society, something like the butterfly effect, that is the concept that small causes can have large effects. A very small change in initial conditions had created a significantly different outcome, parents will consider the misleading of truth towards their kids, in an automatic fashion, was done to them, and no harm, so why not pass it along to their kids, not remembering the feelings and emotions when they find out for the first time that they were misled for years, also not thinking that, not everybody will react and remember about the disappointment points in their life the same. We are not perfect and identical copies of each other. So let's see. In the article, they argue, if they parents are capable of lying about something so special and magical, can they be relied upon to continue as the guardians of wisdom and truth? They also suggest that parents may be motivated by a selfish desire to relive their own childhood, and not the well-being of their children. The Santa myth is such an involved lie, such a long-lasting one, between parents and children, that if a relationship is vulnerable, this may be the final straw. If parents can lie so convincingly and over such a long time, what else can they lie about? There is potential for children to be harmed in these lies. All children will eventually find out they've been consistently lied to for years, and this might make them wonder what other lies they've been told. However, the university psychologist admits that he will probably play along with the story if he has children of his own. He do not know exactly why, but he will, it might be an obeying and following indoctrination, a psychological ideology, who creates the roots of mindset of good little workers and controlled mindless taxpayers. Ideology and indoctrination that works perfect for elites that small percent that control and make poor the vast majority, it is needed a societal control to be in this feudalistic, double standard driven, hegemonic and oligarchic society, to accept and even worship them, and being completely blind to societal injustice, political and financial immunity of e few over the majority. Not seeing the exploitation of human by other human, that carve out and still half of their life energy, time and money, and their kids life too as was their parents and grandparents too. The study continues with. Some parents use it as a tool of control when they're under a bit of pressure in the lead up to Christmas. It's potentially not the best parenting method. You're talking about a mythical being deciding whether you're getting presents or not. Aha a mythical creature who overwatch us, no out thought, spy on us, so he has kind of unlimited power and he is perfect mind reader, he is not unlimited or unconditioned love because based on his interpretation of our life, we receive sticks or carrots, so inspiring a sense of control, fear, self-disappointment, self-guilt, servitude, obedience, oh my, as I am speaking to you and thinking about this, this is the best software to be installed in fully autonomous and perfect. Executioner Robots the two study authors conclude that adults may engage in the Santa Claus myth to escape from the drudgery of real life into fantasy. Might it be the case that the harshness of real life requires the creation of something better, something to believe in, 
something to hope for in the future or to return to a long lost childhood a long time ago in a galaxy far far away, they think. The hope of returning in present or future, in this life or other, to the long lost childhood time or point, probably that was fully under the repetitive, hypnotic spell of mythical fantasy and fairy tale of Santa Claus as presented and artificially maintained to us. By grandparents, parents, family, friends, and society. This hegemonic and feudalistic society, the architects and implementers of this type of society that is not based on Jesus Christ Son of God our Savior's teachings, sadly not even following by directly living, applying, list the principles of constitution. God and God's Son Jesus Christ bless you with his love, courage, and wisdom. God will understand our limitations, I do not think will accept the ignorance and dullness. God and God's Son Jesus Christ our Savior bless you all. Dear Christian brothers and sisters. I saw an article that I would like